Full body scanners, which others have referred to as naked picture scanners, are a relatively new screening tool in airports, introduced in the mid 2000s. The TSA stopped using them for screening passengers in 2013 because of privacy concerns about the near nude images they produced. These scanners use a type of radiation called backscatter and millimeter wave radiation to generate an image of your body. These kinds of radiation waves travel through clothing, but do not penetrate the body. Instead, the waves bounce back, and are assembled to create an image of the body and any items within your clothing. When the full body scanners were first introduced, there was relatively little objective information available about their relative safety with pacemakers and ICDs. Because the radiation from these devices does not penetrate the skin, both the government and pacemaker slash ICD companies felt sure that they were safe for people who had these devices, and this is what they have always told anyone who asked. For a few years, however, there was a bit of confusion on this issue. The TSA initially did not release detailed specifications of their body scanners, claiming it was national security matter. Without those specifications, the device companies simply could do the formal, rigorous testing that would be required to prove that pacemakers and ICDs are not affected by the full body scanner. However, over the years these devices have now been used in millions of people with medical devices, and no problems have ever been reported with them. It seems quite clear at this point that full body scanners are indeed safe for people with pacemakers and ICDs. What about the risk posed to the general public, and not just to people with medical devices, from these radiation-based screening systems? Studies published in 2011 have shown that going through a full body scanner exposes a person to an amount of radiation roughly equal to 3 to 9 minutes of the radiation we all receive from the environment during every day of normal living. So, the amount of radiation a person gets from a full body scanner at the airport is trivial.